slice of pie, a cup of tea, would you have dessert with me? Side by side. What would you like for dessert? I can't decide. What do you recommend? I recommend our chocolate ice cream. Everybody says it's delicious. Okay, please give me a dish of chocolate ice cream. What would you like for breakfast? I can't decide. What do you recommend? I recommend our scrambled eggs. Everybody says they're out of this world. Okay, please give me an order of scrambled eggs. Well, is everybody ready for some dessert? Are you going to have dessert? I don't know. How about you? I'm not sure. Let's see what they have. What do you have for dessert today? We have some fantastic desserts today. You can have a piece of apple pie, a piece of blueberry pie, a bowl of our fresh strawberries, or perhaps a dish of chocolate pudding. We're also offering today a slice of our delicious cheesecake, a bowl of fresh blueberries, and today's special dessert, a piece of our chocolate surprise cake. You can also have a dish of chocolate or vanilla ice cream. Everything looks delicious. Everything looks so good, I can't decide. I think I'd like a piece of apple pie and a cup of coffee. All right. And how about you? Let me have a bowl of strawberries, please, and a glass of milk. You know what? Those strawberries look very good. I don't think I want a piece of apple pie. Let me have a bowl of strawberries, too. All right. Can you tell me about the chocolate surprise cake? Certainly. It's a chocolate cake with big chunks of chocolate and a layer of strawberry jam in the middle with a delicious chocolate frosting. It sounds wonderful. Please give me a piece of the chocolate surprise cake and a cup of tea, please. Mmm. That chocolate surprise cake sounds fantastic. It really is excellent. Do you want to have that instead of a bowl of strawberries? Yes, I think so. The cake sounds magnificent, but I'm pretty full. Do you want to share your piece with me, and I can give you some of my strawberries? Well, uh, I really don't want any strawberries today. You know what? Forget my bowl of strawberries. I'd like a piece of the chocolate surprise cake, too. Okay. And what can I get for you? I can't decide between a slice of cheesecake and a dish of vanilla ice cream. Have the cheesecake. It looks very good. Let me have a slice of the cheesecake, please, and a cup of coffee. Okay. So that's three pieces of chocolate surprise cake, a slice of cheesecake, two cups of coffee, a cup of tea, and a glass of milk. You know what? That cheesecake looks so delicious. Uh oh, mm. guess what? It's 1.30. Oh, uh, 1.30? We have to get back to the office. But what about the chocolate surprise cake? I'm very sorry. We're going to have to leave. Could we have the check, please? No desserts? Mm. No, I'm afraid not. We're running late. OK. That's too bad. The chocolate surprise cake looked delicious. The cheesecake looked good, too. I really wanted a cup of coffee. Mm. I really wanted a cup of tea and a piece of that chocolate surprise cake. Mm. <sighs> it's time once again for the world's favorite cooking program, Cooking with Stanley. So get your pots and pans ready, because the world's favorite chef is really cooking today. Here's Stanley. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Stanley. Today, we're going to prepare my special recipe for vegetable stew. I call it Stanley's Vegetable Stew. It's very delicious, and it's easy and fun to make. First, put a little butter into a saucepan. Here's the butter. Not too much, just a little. Okay, next, chop up a few onions. Not too many onions, just a few. Chop, 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 just like this. 
There we are. Now I'm going to cut up a few potatoes. Be careful when you cut. Don't cut your fingers. And there we have the potatoes. Next, I'm going to pour in a little wine. Don't pour in too much wine. Too much wine is bad for the stew. That's enough, I think. Now, slice a few carrots. Don't these carrots look delicious? They're from my garden. Slice, slice, slice. There we go, into the stew. Next, add a little salt. You know, my doctor says that too much salt is bad for your health. She's right, so don't add too much salt, just a little. Now we chop up a few mushrooms. I love mushrooms, don't you? Chop, chop, chop. There we go, little mushrooms into the stew. Now, I'm going to slice a few tomatoes. Don't use small tomatoes. Try to find big red tomatoes like these. These are also from my garden. And finally, add a little pepper. Don't add too much pepper, just a little. A little pepper gives the stew a wonderful flavor. And now our vegetable stew is ready to cook. Cover the saucepan. Make sure the lid is tight. Cook for three hours. And then enjoy. So that's our recipe for Stanley's vegetable stew. You're going to love it. It's easy to make, and everybody says it's out of this world. Until next time, this is Stanley saying so long and happy cooking.